The trash at our landfills is filling up fast, and although we've become better at recycling, a lot of waste ends up here and stays buried here. But a local company named Genomatica is trying to change that through a partnership with waste management. We're turning waste materials into chemicals and it's using biotechnology as the means to do that. Here in the lab at Genomatica in Sorrento Valley, the carbon that's generated from trash, like methane gas, is being converted to synthesized gas. Microbes then eat the gas and put out a useful chemical as part of their waste. That's what's bubbling up in these glass containers. We're looking at a fermentation. So we have bacteria that are taking in sugar and they're converting that into the chemicals that we're trying to produce. And how long does this have to sort of cook for? This is a fermentation that will run for a couple of days. So just like we have fermentation that makes beer and wine, it's a similar sort of process. Sugar gets taken in by the microbes that are in the, uh, in the tanks here. And this process does not use crude oil, which makes it environmentally friendly. We like to say we're taking the petro out of petrochemicals. So we use, we use sugar instead of using crude oil. And the chemicals created from this percolating soup will become plastic products that we all use. So the plastic produced can be used to make everything from water bottles to spandex. It's not only an environmental win, but an economic one. Being able to produce chemicals at a lower cost from a renewable starting point is a win-win for the environment and for the economy. The ability to create jobs and to create an, an entire new industry sector in terms of uh, these are the types of green jobs that we hear people talk about. We're actually doing that today here in San Diego.